South African branch of Yushinkai and Rakui Kyu Koba Jitsu hosted the first international Japanese traditional martial arts seminar outside of Japan. In past, such seminars have been restricted to Japan. This is because the seminar represents a unique opportunity to experience and gain insight into a rare and classical martial arts that is preserved in Japan. There were more than 43 Japanese members that attended, and amongst other things, demonstrations took place. For those of you who missed out, Warriors captured everything for you. South Africa's seventh dan, Eddie Jardine, takes us through our paces. This is um, Masaru Shingai. He's the seventh dan in the association. He's 65 years old. The uh, form he's doing, the kata he's doing, is called Kanigawa no Tembe no Chin. As you can see, there's a shield and short spear. You have this in every single, I think many cultures have a shield and short spear. For example, here you've got the Zulu shield and spear fighting as well. So this is uh, a turtle shell and a shield. This kata is doing now by the same person. He's called Goju Shiho. It means uh, 54 steps. It's a kata from the Shuri side of Okinawa. This, uh, the, 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 you can see the system does weapons form and does empty hand form as well. So self-defense can, you can use against a, with a weapon or without a weapon. So basically there are times you find that you need to learn how to use a weapon. There's, a t there's times you have to defend yourself against a weapon. And as you can see, he bows when you finish off. The important aspect of the martial arts, it says the martial arts begins and ends with a bow, respect for each other's. This is a knuckle duster cutter. It's called Maizata no Tekko. Tekko is a knuckle duster. The person doing this move now is called Kamekawa. They're all uh, Shinga Shian's students. This lady is Yoko Sugimura. And as you can see, as a martial art, you use anything that's on hand. So this here is called a Tekko knuckle duster, striking for the groin and you have a kind of a pushing or striking technique on the side. The people demonstrating the kata is Kamekawa, uh, Suzuki, and the ladies Yoko Sugimura. So the martial arts is for men and for ladies alike. They're showing you that you can use weapons and you can do the same technique without weapons as well. So you can see the very similarity between this person using a staff, it's called a Rokushaku bow, and the lady against uh, Oshiro using empty hand technique. It's a very similar technique you, this side here now, excepting it's done without weapons. So the important aspect is that you can train with or without weapons. Again, it ends up with a bow, the most important aspect of the martial arts. We've reached that part of the Warriors where we profile some of the playmakers when it comes to martial arts. And on today's show, we profile Inoue Kishu Hanshu, who is a man who's trying to globally grow his art form that his father taught him as a young boy. Take a look. Inoue Kishu Hanshi, the current president of Yushinkai and Rakui Kyu Kobujitsu, was born on October the 30th, 1954, in Shizuoka City, Japan and began his Toshutsu training with his father, Gancho Inoue Sensei, where he developed his love and passion for karate. He travels around the world to promote the ultimate aim of martial arts, and he had this to say on his visit to South Africa. We chose South Africa to host the first international seminar for two reasons. The first reason being that the South African branch is the largest overseas branch of the Yushinkai and Rakui Kyu Kobujitsu. And also because South Africa is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. For us, martial arts is to avoid conflict and to promote peace. I want to tell all the children in the world and the next generation about the message from my father, the founder of the organization, Inoue Ganchu. Toshutsu martial arts is divided by empty hands and weapons and the kata form is created by old masters so that students can practice on their own. 
And the movement you saw was one of these carters. Warriors would like to say thank you very much to Inoue Kishuhanchu for coming to South Africa and sharing his knowledge and wisdom. Maybe you also need something to drink while well, go and grab it because Warriors is taking a quick break. But don't go anywhere because afterwards we learn more about the arts and we go down to Durban for some karate action. Lots more still in store. The Palace of Dreams turned into a palace of fantastic reality as the Yushinkai and Rukuiku Kobujutsu seminar was held in South Africa, the very first time a country has hosted the event outside of Japan. South Africa's own seventh dan, Eddie Jardine, takes us through our paces. This is uh, Masako Osada and Ling Jardine doing a kata, a nunchaku kata, called uh, Nunchaku Renchu no Sho. Uh, the nunchaku is a weapon made very popular by the late uh, Bruce Lee. Uh, one of the things you take note, you find that the nunchaku is not a blocking weapon. So what they're doing there is not blocking. It's just basically a kamai, a posture you find preparing for striking. It's mainly a striking weapon. And also, all the strikes are done with the whole body, with the hips aside, not just a wrist action like a lot of people see in the movies. So these are not actually blocks. They're just preparation, posture, a kamai as such in Japanese. <laughs> Next, we have the, uh, the Swedish group uh, doing the application, the bunkai, for a kata called Pinan Nidan. Uh, the Pinan katas are made by Itosu Yatsutsune in Okinawa about 100 years ago. And this is just how one way of applying the pinan cutter from the Swedish group. Now we have Mr. Isaac Myler uh, doing a cutter called Gion. Uh, Ji is a temple in Japanese, so there could be possible some kind of Buddhist influence in this cutter. Uh, it's a cutter from the Tomari area of Okinawa. Isaac Myler has been training for much more than 20 years, and he teaches, he's an instructor in uh, the East Man. Again, important on the cutter, the bow before and end of the cutter. Next, from, from England, we have uh, Steve Kazmarek doing a kama kata. Kama is a pair of sickles, as you can see. It's called Kanigawa no Dai. Many of the weapons in Okinawa have got farming uh, influence, so this you can see it's a sickle for trimming trees, for cutting grass, etc. The sickles he's using is uh, razor sharp, they're actually proper weapons. You can see the cutting for the throat, hacking down. He's using the sickle for grabbing. Also as in karate for punching. Kata Kanegawa no Dai. This is Taro Nisk. The kata he's doing is called Hamahiga no Tonfa. I think many people know the Tonfa. Uh, police people, police use them as a, as a baton. This kata Hamahiga no Tonfa comes from, it's named after an area in Okinawa. So it just means Tonfa Kata from Hamahiga Island. You can see the very close, similar movements to karate, blocking the upwards, downwards, and striking inwards. And of course, you've got it over your arm, so it can be used like a shield.
Salon from South Africa, we have a gathering here of 13 different countries performing their kata. Now this is uh, Gilbert Mackey from uh, Mauritius. He trained, he actually emigrated from South Africa to Mauritius and he's teaching over there now. The kata he's doing, the, the bowl kata or the con kata, con is a staff, is called sujino kon dai. Kata about uh, 100 years old. You're seeing Dennis Vitri now on the right side. Again, you can see the similarity you find with the karate as well, the blocking, thrusting, the different kind of postures, striking down, up, and thrusting for the throat and defense. <laughs> well, here's a man who knows everything about Paku, but one thing I know is that...